Hello everyone. We made a terrible mistake in another video, or I wouldn't blame it on you, I made the mistake. But, um, so, let me first explain why this is a mistake. So, what we worked on in the previous video was that we were, were uh, implementing um, our own function definitions, and we're trying to make it so that we can pass in arguments to our own functions, right? Now, <clears throat> to be able to do this, uh, well, for, first of all, the functions are pushed into our own sort of scope struct that we designed in the previous video. I think it was the previous video. And by the way, I'll put the previous video in the description. And we're actually pushing the function definitions into uh, this scope here, which has function definitions. Well, I realized that some previous version of myself uh, put the variable definitions in the visitor struct for some unexplainable reason. Obviously, we want the variable definitions to be pushed into the uh, scope as well. So, um, as of now, we still can't pass our own uh, arguments to a function. Uh, the arguments are when we're trying to use the variables inside of the function, it says undefined. Uh, so if we do hello that out examples functions two, we're getting undefined variable x here and uh, undefined variable y here. Because, uh, yeah, the, we need to define these variables inside of the scope here so that we can use them. Now, as of now, we can't do that because the these variables are actually defined on the uh, or pushed into the visitor. So what we're going to do today, um, unfortunately, it's probably going to be a boring video, but we're going to move these variable definitions into uh, the scope struct as well, so that we will both have function definitions and variable definitions inside of the scope. Uh, that makes more sense, right? So I'm just going to go and remove these from the visitor the variable definitions and we're going to put them in the uh, scope instead now isn't that beautiful we have function definitions and we have variable definitions okay now we still have some logic in the visitor that depends on on these variable definitions um, so you know what we're going to do like if we go to the scope.h, we can see that we have some uh, functions here called scope add function definition and scope get function definition. We're gonna add two other methods, but for variable definitions as well. So we're just gonna copy these in the header file for the scope. And we're going to rename these to, uh, let's be a bit clever here. We can do it like this variable definition so let's call it vdef instead uh, maybe rename I don't know or oh, just name so we added two methods to the header file of the scope scope add variable definition and scope get variable definition now obviously we need to copy these into the scope.c and implement them as well okay and fortunately we have we already have code for adding a variable definition it exists inside the visitor in our visit variable definition we have this code here that just adds another uh, variable definition to to the list so basically we're gonna copy this code here inside the visit variable definition and we're gonna go to the scope again and we're gonna put it in the uh, add variable definition function here my camera always seems to be in the way okay so there we go and i guess we can also return the node maybe i should still explain what we do here uh let me first let me first rename these here because this is now we're not using the visitor here we're using the scope um, 
so yeah, what we're doing is basically the same as add function definition. Um, uh, we're just, uh, if the variable definitions is equal to void pointer, then we're allocating new memory and adding the node to the first uh, index in the array. And if it's not a void pointer, then we're just reallocating it and pushing it to the end of the list. Um, another thing we need to do in the init scope function here is actually to set these variables as well, because uh, uh, in the same way that we're doing with the functions, we're going to do scope function definitions is equal to void zero scope. Oh, sorry, variable definitions. scope uh, variable definitions size is equal to zero okay now we have the get variable definition as well uh, we can basically copy the logic we have in the uh, scope get function definition so let's copy this and put it in the variable definition method here and obviously we're going to need to change a couple things. We're going to change the function definitions here to variable definitions instead. Oh, sorry. Let's just rename the function identifier to variable instead. And let's rename fdef to vdef. vdef. And we're going to have a sip of coffee. Okay, it looks good. So now we can go to the visitor. And now when we're visiting a variable, um, <clears throat> we're going to do the same thing that we do in the visit function definition when we visit a variable definition. So basically, we're going to do this. Scope add uh, function definition, but we're going to rename this to variable. So when we're vi visiting a variable definition, we're pushing that variable to the scope variable list, variable definition list, okay? Now we have to change the visit variable function as well. Um, and we have to do um, sort of the same thing that we do in the function call, but a little bit different. We're gonna copy the scope get function definition. And we're gonna do, uh, instead of node uh, function call name, we're gonna do node varia variable definition variable name. That's a very long name. Or actually, no, sorry, we're gonna do node variable name. Okay, and we can call this vdef instead. And it's not going to get function definition, it's going to get variable definition. And we can remove this. And we can keep this, but what we're going to do is um, we're going to have another if statement here. We're just going to check if vdef not equals to void. So if we did find a variable definition, we're going to visit it. Um, uh, we have to do vdef here as well. We're, uh, so what we're doing here is basically um, um, basically when we visit a variable um, we're going to fetch the variable definition. And if we found the variable definition, we're going to visit the value of that definition and return that value. Okay. So pretty simple, right? So let's just recompile our stuff and see that things are working. Make clean Mike. And we're getting an error here at line 26 in the visitor. So we are not going to do these things here in the init visitor anymore. We're not going to set the variable definitions because as you remember, we removed them from the struct. 
this struct is actually kind of pointless right now. Um, but anyway, we're not going to bother about that right now. Now we can recompile and we're getting some errors. For example, in the scope line 83, we are comparing with f name, but the name is actually just name in this function, the scope get variable definition. So let's just do that, recompile. And another error at line 83. Um, <clears throat> So variable definition name does not exist. So why doesn't it exist? Let's go to ast.h. Variable definition, variable name, it should exist. Variable definition, variable name. There we go. Whoops, I accidentally closed it. Scope.c, okay. Recompile. And we're going to enter at line 61. And we can't, no doesn't exist here. We're going to use vdef instead, vdef. So when we're adding a variable definition, we're going to push this definition to the list. Okay. Recompile. And we're still returning node, so that's a problem. To do return vdef. And there we go, things are compiling. Now the question is, uh, since we did this change, will our code here still work? In our main.hello, for example, we're declaring a variable here, defining a variable called uh, a string variable John Doe, and we're printing it. Will we still find it after this change? We should, we should, we should still find it. So hello, examples, main.hello, and yeah, it still works. So that's cool. This was a necessary step for us to do in order to get um, this working. Now it still won't work if we uh, if we run uh, this functions two dot hello, we're still getting undefined variable here. Uh, but. I'm going to explain to you the reason why we did this change today. It's because later we are going to want to push these variables to the scope of this function. And that wasn't possible before because um, variables didn't exist in the scope. It exists globally in the visitor. So that's why we needed to make this change. And also it makes more sense, right, that the scope also has uh, both the function definitions and the variable definitions. It didn't make sense before to have those in the visitor. Um, unfortunately, we're not gonna make the, uh, the function uh, arguments here work today, um, but I can promise you now it's gonna be in the next video, okay? Um, this was just a necessary step for us uh, it's gonna be a too long video if I implement this today as well, but I promise you it's gonna be in the next video, okay? So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And also the uh, source code will be in the description and the link to the previous video. So thank you.